and we want company movie and company logo. Three logo we want. That's fine. It's just going to uh, raise the price a little bit more than. Well, we only have uh, 50 euro. Ooh, um, that's not going to be enough for the services Why that we. You cannot do uh, in uh, 50 euro. Well, it's just a matter of the costs that we have to complete this project. Come on, you are a smart boy. You do it. <laughs> I, I appreciate that, but it's just not going to be enough to cover the costs of this project. Okay, let's talk next week. And okay, we sure. Do the website together. We can talk next week, fine, but we need to address it. Okay, a... let's talk next week and you give a solution. Vitali, we need to okay, talk. Okay, bye. Hello, Vitali. Vitali. Wow, that's hot. So with all that wood that I just chopped, I've started a huge fire in here, and I need to keep this going for the next hour or so until these bricks get nice and hot to the touch, so that when we put out the main fire inside, all of that stored energy will radiate down into our loaf of bread, giving us a consistent temperature which we need for baking. I'll just stick this on there for extra fuel. There we go, and now it's time for a beer. baking hack. I've put the dough which I've just made into these two little proofing baskets. You can see they're made out of reed or something and they have been pre-powdered by me with rice flour to stop the dough from sticking to the sides and as we wait for the fire to continue its thing I'm going to place the proofing baskets on top of the oven where it's nice and warm and then I'm going to cover them with two cloths and wait for them to grow nicely. And just as soon as they reach this sort of level here, we know they're ready to stick into the oven. And by that time, this should be nice and properly warmed up. Not long to go now. Okay, time to pull out about 90% of those embers. Just gonna leave 10% in there on the edges to keep in some of the heat. Let's go. Okay, now we've cleared a space in the middle there and I've just used a brush to sweep the bricks of any soot and I've used some water to make sure they're relatively clean. Of course, there's gonna be absolutely no bacteria in there because this is about, I don't know, about 400 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to grab some of this whole grain, whole wheat flour and throw it in there. Just make a bit of flour in there like that. Need to work very quickly, just so I don't lose heat. Oh, I'm getting flour everywhere. Very hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> okay, just make sure that doesn't burn my flour. Okay, now that that's done, next step is to uh, get the loaf of bread on there and stick it on the flour bed. Just sprinkling a bit of flour on this pallet here, or this baker's tray, whatever it's called, can't remember, so the dough doesn't stick. I'm gonna shake this about, make sure it's not stuck, and Presto. Okay, so we've got this ugly loaf at the moment and we're gonna stick this in into the oven just there, just like that, right in the middle there. Make sure it doesn't get too hot. Very hard to do this with one hand, but at least in principle, you'll know what to do. Time to close it off. And now we wait. Not my best looking loaf, to be honest, but it's difficult to do things with one hand. Vlogging and baking bread do not mix, believe me. But if it looks good when we stick it out of the oven and it tastes delicious, that's all that matters. So, until then, cheers. Okay, I'll just tell you what I did. I've just turned this around because 
there's more heat on that side than there is coming from here obviously so you need to turn it around every now and again but this is looking pretty good while we wait I just want to show you the next loaf of bread which is waiting patiently to be placed into the oven this is growing nicely love it So I call this thing a baker's pallet or a baker's tray, but it's not actually called that. It's called a baker's peel. That's what Google says. And it helps me push the dough, the loaf of bread, right into the bottom of the oven there where it's nice and warm so I don't burn my little fingers. Okay, so let's check on our little bread. Hmm, not bad. Probably needs about another uh, 15 minutes and it will be done. I started a bit late today and it's getting a bit dark, a bit too soon. So hopefully I can bake the other loaf as well and then go inside. I spent a lot of hours on YouTube researching how to bake bread in brick ovens. Besides how to build a brick oven itself, also on YouTube. But doing that, I researched the history of bread. It's a long history and we take it for granted, but without bread, there would be no civilization. No GoPro cameras, no phones, definitely no YouTube. I must really be messing with the YouTube algorithm right now. Doing tutorials, reviews and everything and then baking bread all of a sudden. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Sorry, but I don't even know. Time to pull it out. Let's see, moment of truth. Not too bad, a bit small, not very pretty, but it's a homemade loaf of bread in a brick oven. So you're probably asking me right now, Marius, how many loaves of bread can you bake in one go? The answer is just one. Because it's such a small oven, not many layers of bricks, I have to restart the fire after each loaf. So let's do that. The fire's crackling nicely over there, doing its thing. Time to taste some of this bread. Let's see. Ooh. Look at that. Fresh bread. Out of a brick oven. Mmm. Fantastic. shake there we go Ooh, looks much better than the first one look at that Ooh, nice into the fire you go last loaf let's see looks much better than the first one but let's see if it will bake just as well as the first okay wow <sighs> not easy being a baker Come on, come on, hurry up. Well, it's about nine o'clock and I'm still not done, but I think it's time to pull out that loaf of bread, the last one, come on, let's do it. Ah. Let's see if we can do this one-handed, like some sort of pirate, a one-handed pirate baker. Ugh. Let's see, can we, can we pull it out? Ooh. Ha. Oh. There we go. Second loaf, done. And it's quite pretty. I think it's quite pretty. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. Smells amazing. Okay. I think that does it for this episode of How To Do Stuff on Marius Mitro channel. So thanks for watching, you've been amazing, bearing with me through chopping wood, making the dough, setting the fire, getting everything ready, and in the end, baking two loaves of bread. So it's good night from me and the brick oven, and until next time, take care, and why not check out one of these two videos, up there and down there. 
And as always, I'll catch you later.